All right, guys, grab your scarves, your Ugg boots, and your PSLs. We're making some pumpkin spice waffles in our Ninja Never Stick Waffle Maker. Coming up. What's up everybody, welcome to Cooking with CJ. I'm CJ, welcome to my kitchen, so glad you're here. Guys, we got a nice easy one for you today. We're gonna do some pumpkin spice waffles, all right? Not to be confused with a pumpkin spice latte that every basic person out there enjoys at this time of year when it's 110 outside, but hey, you know, Starbucks rules the world, so. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and make these pumpkin spice waffles. I got a really easy pumpkin spice pancake waffle mix. So it's just adding water and we're going to town, okay? This never stick waffle maker is very cool. We pour in the waffle batter on the top, no muss, no fuss, it's easy to go. Don't have to spray down the grates or anything like that. The waffles come off clean. It's pretty amazing how that all works, all right? So we also have a little Uncle Steve shake we're gonna put in the mix, add a little bit more sweet, a little more cinnamon to it, and then, uh, no maple syrup. So I will try to find links for these things down below for the pumpkin spice uh, waffle mix and then the Uncle Steve's too, okay? So whatever I use in this video, you'll find links below. Little whipped cream and we're calling it a day, all right? But before we get started, I know Mr. CJ keeps adding stuff to this uh, little ledge right here, but right above it, we're gonna put that play button when we hit 100,000 subscribers here on YouTube. So. Please hit that red subscribe button, that bell next to it, so you get alerts on everything we're doing. All right, now let's get down to our Ninja Waffle Station, otherwise known as my kitchen island. Let's get started. Okay, team, we're over on the Ninja Waffle Station. Went ahead and put our pumpkin spice mix in there. All we gotta do is add a little water to it, and we're just going off the instructions on the box. We're gonna add about a tablespoon of Uncle Steve's dessert shake in there. It's just my own little ad. You don't have to do this. Or you can substitute like a cinnamon sugar mix in there if you want. But technically it has all the spice and whatever you need in there. In there. <laughs> all right, time to just whisk this all together. And you don't want to over whisk this. You just want to make sure everything's incorporated and combined. Smells like pumpkin spice to me. This is gonna start smelling really good once we get it into the waffle maker. Okay, team, we're gonna go ahead and take this and turn it on, get it to the setting number three, wait for it to heat up, and we'll start making waffles. All right, team, green means go. We have a nice cup full of our mix in there, and we're just gonna pour it in. All right, team, each waffle takes about two to three minutes. Uh, when you put it on the three setting, that actually is a timer. You know, it's three minutes, right? You put it on two, two minutes, you put it on four, four minutes, right? I used to think that meant the darkness of, you know, the waffle, which I guess it does, but it is actually the timer of it. So I set it on three, it takes about three minutes, all right? Really easy. Uh, recipe here guys. Good thing about this never stick waffle maker is you can use any kind of mix in it and uh, the waffles turn out awesome and there's no mess like for real. Usually we you know we have in this cupboard right here we have an old school flipping uh, waffle maker and it is a mess all the time. It's a pain in the neck to clean. This thing's not a pain in the neck to clean. So if you guys want to get one I will put a link down below. It's an affiliate link, but it doesn't cost you anything more. But I highly recommend it. If you like waffles, get you one of these. <laughs> it's, it's pretty dang cool. All right, these should be done in a hot second. And we'll get them dressed up. All right, team, this waffle is done on the top there. But look how easy it comes off. All right, we're looking good. All right, let's get this on the plate. We'll add the whipped cream and the butter and all that good stuff to it. All right, team, our waffles are all cut up. Making a little pivot. Uh, that caramel pumpkin butter. Uh, I tried a little bit with the waffle, you know, a little test waffle, and it was just a little bit too much. So I'm gonna leave that one off, but I do have a little maple syrup here. We're just gonna do a little drizzle. And 
just a little bit of whipped cream on there. When I say a little bit, I mean a lot. All right, let's try this dish. All right, team, waffles are done. Let's go ahead and get a bite, get a nice cut out of it. Some of that whipped cream, of course. That nice whipped cream. That's a nice little bite right there. All right, we go. Let's give it a try. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Tastes like fall. <laughs> I don't know, for all you basic PSL loving people out there, this is a good one. All right, really simple. A little of that dessert shake from Uncle Steve's adds just a little bit more sweet, a little bit more cinnamon in there. It kind of just takes it over the top. Nice whipped cream, a little bit of butter, syrup, can't go wrong. It is literally fall on a plate, okay? So, guys, like I said, links below for all this stuff. If you wanna become a show producer like all the people scrolling across the screen right now, lovely pumpkin spice latte drinking people, I guarantee you. At least most of these people are drinking pumpkin spice lattes or PSLs. <laughs> uh, hit that join button right next to that subscribe button, which you should have already hit by now. Other than that, guys, we are done. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.